Welcome. We have a pretty treat for you. and We're going to take a quick peek inside the Pretty Presets Winter Wonderland collection. We are super excited to share this collection with you all and show you all of the beautiful all-in-one presets that are included to enhance the look of your images. The best part is it does not stop there. That's right guys, you can have even more fun and actually add snow into your images in Lightroom. And I do want to mention that this collection is optimized for Lightroom 5, 6, and of course Creative Cloud. So let's take a quick peek inside of this collection, shall we? Um, of course we have our all-in-one edits, beautiful hazes to infuse that nice wintry glow into your images, some post-processing with dulling the greens and adding a soft blur. We have all, all of our beautiful snow options for both horizontal and vertical images. Okay, so I know you guys are super excited to really see what this collection can do. So let's get started, shall we? And we're going to select the all-in-one Purple Frost preset for this image. Keep in mind, all of our presets are customizable. I just want to take the exposure and bring it up just a little bit for this image. And I'm also going to take the temperature slider and add just a tiny bit of warmth as well. Look how easy that was. And now on to the fun part, we're going to add some fun snow flurries. So let's go ahead and click on snow showers for this image. Bam, that easy guys. I know what you guys are thinking, is this customizable to my portrait? And of course, we've thought of it all, you guys. So follow me on over here to our right panel. We're going to click on the radial tool and notice all of the pins that appear on the image. Now these are these pins represent each and every one of the snow flurries, all of the snowflakes. So if you have some on your client's face or on something that is really the focal point of the image, you want, might want to remove all of them or just some of them. Um, and that is absolutely possible. Uh, you, if you don't see pins on your image, just go down here to where it says show edit pins. Make sure auto or always is selected. Okay, so I'm just going to right click on some of these dials and delete them or the pins rather. And I'm just deleting the ones that are right in the middle of her face here. Oops. And again, I'm just right clicking. Okay, and if you like the snow and you really want to keep the amount of snow flurry, you can also click on that pin, take it and drag it outwards. You can shift click to keep the proportions and drag outwards and make the flurry larger. Okay, and I'm really liking that. I'm going to keep this as is and press done. And I'm going to show you one more trick that we have up our sleeves with this beautiful new collection. And that is the brushes. So if you love the snow flurries, but you just want to add a little bit more, you absolutely have that option. I just clicked on the brushes here and we're gonna click inside our brush options. And I have winter snow one towards the bottom, blur snow two and three and blur background. Let's go ahead and just click on a few of these. Now I can make this brush larger and smaller by using my left and right bracket keys and I'm just going to click around the image. I'm just adding a few targeted snowflakes and notice how these are blurry. We have some additional options as well that are maybe a little bit sharper. Each of the snow brushes looks slightly different. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Gorgeous. I'm loving it guys. Okay, so let's take a real quick look. We're going to press done. Here's our before and after. Bam. Okay, the best part is this was so much fun to do. So who's ready to move on to image number two? I know I am. And we're going to select Moody Blues for this image. And let's go ahead and just bring the exposure up a tad. Okay, so we're gonna scroll down and take a look at our snow flurries. And we're going to add snow flurries 
three. Bam, this image is done. There's a tiny little snowflake on her forehead and I can click on the radial filter. Just right click on that and press delete and we're done. We're gonna take a look at a before and after. Literally took less than 30 seconds, two clicks and we were done. Huge difference. This image has been winterized, guys. Okay, let's move on to image number three. And we're going to use the Arctic Ivory All-in-One preset. Let's go ahead and add some pretty snow to this image. We're going to use Snow Flurries 4. Voila! We just need one or two more quick clicks here. I'm going to click on the radial dial and we're just going to right click a few times and remove some of the snow. That's kind of around her face. And it's really a personal preference whether you want to delete that, um, all of the snow from in front to them. I want to keep some of the snow flurries on her dress just to keep that a nice natural look. And we're going to press done. Voila, before and after, because we know how much you guys love looking at the before and afters, guys. It's so much fun. Okay, so let's keep a warm wintry look for this image and select rustic winter one click and we have this beautiful wintry all-in-one preset all right i know you guys want to see the snow so of course we're going to add snow to this image as well let's use snow flurries one bam we are done no additional changes required and I almost skipped the before and after there, but of course, you know you're gonna get it before and after. Amazing. Okay, and our last image that we're going to edit together is going to be a fun black and white edit. So let's select Silver Dream, and we're going to bring the exposure up just a little bit here. And of course, what would a winterized photo be without the Beautiful snow flurries. We're going to add snow flurries three. And I just want to customize it a little bit, which we know is super easy. We're just right clicking on a few of these pins to delete that from his face. And of course, voila, we'll be done. Take a look at this image. Super fun. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for just a few minutes while we took a quick peek inside of the Pretty Presets Winter Wonderland collection. I'm so excited for you all to get to play with it and have just as much fun as I am using this collection right now. And as always, thank you so much for watching Pretty Presets.